Hi, and welcome to this short video on a new module I developed for event notifications. My name is Michael Kidd. You can find me on Twitter at me and my robot. I am a Kentigo MVP, hence the topic for this video. And I'm currently the CTO at Eccentric Arts, a digital agency at Toronto, Canada. So the problem the new events notification module seeks to resolve is as follows. The event log happily captures events. It records events of several types, information, warnings, and errors. Now, some of these events are going to be of more interest to you than others. And unless you keep your eyes on the event log, you might not notice these events uh, are happening until it's too late. Take, for example, errors. It would be helpful if the site could reach out to you when an error happens and send you the details. This is exactly what the event notification module does. It allows you to configure an event notification based on rules. Say, for example, only send me errors from my custom code and send those notifications to email addresses or on Slack. Let's quickly see how to set it up. So if you browse to newget.org and do a search for Kentigo, you'll see a list of packages that are available. Um, on here, you should be able to find event notification module for both version 8.2 and also for version 9, or you can browse directly to the packages here. So again, there's version 9, and also we have version 8.2. If you copy the command, and then in Visual Studio open up the Package Manager console, make sure you have CMS app selected, and then paste in the command for the version that you want to install. So here it's Kentigo 9, and then press return. Visual Studio will install the package uh, into the project. And then whenever it's done, just rebuild the solution. When you run the site again, Kentigo will actually finish the installation and import in the packages. You'll be able to check this if you go to the event log. After the application has started, you should see an event for module installed. This means that Kentigo is being able to finally install your module. You can also check this in the actual modules module. If you go in here and have a look, you should be able to find the event notification module. So we can open this up and we can make sure that it's added to our current site. So if we browse back to our dashboard, we should be able to see um, the event notification module. We can be able to add the live tile onto our dashboard. It's installed under configuration. So if you have a look in here, we can install the event notification live tile. And you'll see that the module has no notifications and it's currently off. So if we go into settings, we can actually configure the module and enable it. The module settings are under system and then event notifications. And here you can see there's a general flag for disabling the module. We can enable regular expressions as well. And we've got two main areas. We can enable email notifications and put in the appropriate details as to where we want emails to go. And we can also enable Slack notifications. If we put in the webhook URL and then we can pick a channel that we want to submit the messages to the username that the messages will be sent under, and then people that we actually want to notify. So we can use at channel to notify everybody in this. If we save the information, we can now go into the event notification module and configure a notification. So if we add in a new notification, you'll see that you can really configure a filter on any field from an event log item. So we can set the type, we can also, for this notification, override certain configurations from the global settings, like the email settings and the Slack settings. Say we wanted to pick a different channel, or we want to actually hit other people up with the mentions. So if I just configure a really basic update document notification, so here, just update doc, event type is information, press save. And now I'll go into the pages module and I'm just gonna actually update a document. So on this blank site, just with the root, click on save. 
And now I should have an email being sent out and a Slack message. So if I go into the email queue, I can see here that I do have my email being sent out. And if I open that up, it should contain all the information from the events. And then on my other desktop, if I have a look, I should be able to find the Slack message. So yep, I've got a Slack notification and I targeted the event log channel. And here you can see the information is being sent out on the actual Slack settings that I put in. Be aware that there are a few differences with installing any module uh, in Kentco 8.2 versus Kentco 9. In 8.2, you have to manually import the database objects. So after you've installed the module using the Package Manager console, restart the site, go to Modules, go to Import, and Kentico will be able to see the zip file and then be able to import that in and update the database objects for the module that you're installing. Also note that uninstalling a module in 8 is a manual process. So in general, be it version 8 or version 9, it's always good practice to make sure that you back up the site and back up the database before you give any module a go, just in case there's issues. So remember to play nice with the module. Uh, even though messages to Slack are sent asynchronously, you likely don't want to configure the module to send you every single event, especially if your site is in some weird state, getting crawled and throwing a whole bunch of errors every single second. Cheers.